Hey guys, I want to give you a quick overview of my CTC 3D printer. Um, in the description below, I'll provide all the links to all the items that, are, that have been upgraded on this printer. And um, so let's get started. Um, everything again that you see in green is something that I printed from this printer. Um, and I try to, one, you know, make it for, hopefully it has a purpose for the upgrade. And at the same time, you know, aesthetically it looks kind of cool. To me at least. So let's get started. Alright, so uh, as you can see right there, that is the corner cap fillers. One right there, one right there, and I actually have two more in the back. Um, this printer enclosure itself without those fillers uh, are wide open. So having those fillers, um, I believe, do serve its purpose when printing ABS because you want to keep you know, any kind of uh, drafts or any kind of, or you want to keep the ambient temperature inside the enclosure somewhat stable. Um, so to me that makes logical sense to have that uh, in place. On the right you can see that is the uh, Y-axis cable chain holder. Um, the reason why I put that in is because when I purchased this enclosure, as you can see right there, um, right behind that motor uh, there was a zip tie that rubbed against the glass plate. So one, having this cable chain in place, uh, I can remove those zip ties and feed it through that chain and to aesthetically it looks kind of cool to me um, let's go on here so that's the spool holder right there one right there and one right there um, that's just an upgraded spool holder um, so if I were ever to print with dual filaments I have an extra one right there on my left and at the same time when I'm only printing single it acts as a plug again I think the I only print an ABS and the uh, I'm trying my best to keep the inside of this enclosure somewhat constant. In the back, as you can see right there, dead center there, and right there, and there's actually one in the middle right there. Um, this helps with that Y axis right there, that rod. Um, there is a lot of flex in it when I first got it, but by adding those pill block mods, it uh, helps stabilize that. Alright, let's go here to the top, as you can see, uh, those oval shaped blocks uh, that's used to hold the z-axis rods um, it does hold it a lot tighter which is uh, the purpose of me installing those um, in the back I went from a direct uh, setup to a bone setup uh, I printed those out from Thingiverse and they work great they actually work much better than the original one and the good part about it was the upgrades were made by the printer itself. Um, now let's get to the extruder. So these extruders, the reason why I changed it is because I had you know some extra credit on eBay or PayPal and I figured you know I've been reading a lot about different types of extruders and the E3D V6 everybody's been ranting and raving about it so I figured I would just try this upgrade. Um, I didn't have a problem with the original one but you know, um, with this E3D V6 setup, I have no complaints. Uh, it prints amazing. So again, that enclosure right there uh, was printed from the original extruder setup. Uh, all right. um, the enclosure itself, I purchased off eBay. Uh, plexiglass enclosure um, requires a few um, holes to be drilled out and inserted with a nut and a washer uh, to keep them in place. Let's see, what else did I miss? The glass bled, glass bed. Um, 6x9 piece, I believe it is 1 8 or 1 16th. But um, that's used to provide a, a flat table. And also, for me, you know, um, by removing it and having extra spares of the 6x9 glass sheets, uh, it makes it easier for me to just pull this glass plate out, put another one in with captain tape, and, or excuse me, PET tape and uh, start printing. Um, it does sit on top of the aluminum glass bed uh, so there wasn't any modifications made there. Oh yeah, underneath um, I changed it to the blue thumb wheels. Seem to hold on and bite down a little bit tighter. And that's the purpose of why I upgraded that. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that is about it. If you guys have any questions or comments you know, please leave them below. Um, I'll try to provide all the links for the upgrades made to this printer on Thingiverse. 
and also where I purchased the E3DV6 and also and most importantly I'll also include the uh, the seller uh, he's been great every question that I had through this this learning process uh, he's been there to answer it for me and provide suge suggestions um, on this you know the this is my first 3D printer and there is a huge learning curve and at the same time you know to me the reason why I picked this CDC CTC printer is you know I like to tinker with with things and this there's so many upgrades you can do to this printer I mean out of the box it printed well but now it just prints amazingly uh, my friend has an Ultimaker and I mean not to bash that but you know spending 2200 bucks on that is it's quite a big chunk of money here four hundred dollars this thing prints great and i'm completely satisfied with it all right guys hope you liked the video uh if there's anything else that i can provide let me know um again if i miss something i'll try to add it in the description below all right guys thanks again bye